from spooky skeletons to jack-o'-lanterns and even mushrooms. This cute and spooky shopping district will ha cover all of your Halloween needs. What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Liz, aka my pal so fast. I do a ton of cozy game content here on YouTube. Today we are back with another video on my spooky island of Lockwood. I'm so excited. This island is actually almost done, so when you're seeing this, it's kind of like um, like a trick. It's like, oh, we're working on our shopping district today, but actually this island is almost done. I have like one more build left. So by the time this is out, it'll probably be done. So I'm super excited about that. But today we are creating this little shopping district. It's a little area just to the right of where our courtyard was. It incorporates Nook's Cranny and the Able Sisters in this really tight closed off space. Um, I didn't have much area, much room on my island to kind of create a shopping district like I normally do. Normally I have like a ton of seating um, or something fun like that. But because of how closed off this castle area is and how big some of my other builds are, I didn't really have as much space as I normally do for these islands, um, or for these builds, I mean. So to, today we're just going to kind of mess around with it. I first off start by laying out the path as I always do, and because I'm using two different paths, one that's just a plain brick and one that has the leaves on top, um, I have personally found it a lot easier just to lay the basic brick path down first and then to add in the leaves afterwards because if I'm trying to figure out, okay, where do I want the leaves to go? Where do I want the brick to go? I'm just going to lose myself in all of it. So instead, I always lay out the um, plain brick first and then add in the leaves. And can I just say, I love the leaves so much, especially at night. They almost kind of glow, especially the orange one. It's like, it's very glowy and I don't know how it works because color theory just escapes me but it looks cool at night uh, but you'll all see that at the end and as always I challenge you all to try to count all the pumpkins that are in this build because you know you already know um, you've probably seen the other builds from this island so you've probably already seen um, the courtyard which you can even see now and all the pumpkins are in there so you already know what's about to happen on this island with all the pumpkins so let me know if you can count them all I was originally going to like close off this area and I was like, no, 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 let's be smart about this. Let's learn from past mistakes. Let's learn from past Liz errors and not put stuff at the very front of my build before I start decorating it. So once all the path is laid, I kind of create the right hand side of the castle wall, but I don't do the front part until I've already placed items because boy, oh boy, it was so hard decorating that courtyard when I'd already placed down the castle gates and the castle walls. It was just so frustrating. But at this point, I'm just creating some of the towers on the side, some of the walls, and just really outlining that area um, so I don't go too far out. It's kind of like my barrier. Now, I will be decorating my beaches slightly, but I don't know if I want to do like an actual build on them. Um, maybe I'll, I'll do it. Maybe I won't. Who knows? Depends on when this video gets out um, and when everyone gets to see this video. <laughs> So if you have ideas for my beaches, please let me know because I was just going to place some creepy flowers, maybe some of like the creepy skeletons around in there um, and then see where things go. But I'd love to know what you all think I should do with my beaches because it's always the part that escapes me. Beaches are the absolute worst for me. I very rarely decorate my beaches because of that. Let me know in the comments. Do you actually decorate your beaches or do you do what I do and just kind of ignore them and hope that they magically go away somewhere? But now that that stuff is all done and the path is done, we finally get to go to the fun decorating area. I did place the castle wall and the gate a little bit because I wanted this parasol in there, but I wanted to make sure I left enough room for the castle gate and the castle wall, and then I could kind of decorate into it a little bit. Um, I just find it easier if I'm able to see where I'm placing things beforehand, um, and then also making sure I have room. So I'm kind of implementing and building 
as I decorate because I don't want to close off the space and run out of room um, before it's all done. And I did originally want to make sure I could use that little cell box. I eventually just throw it in the bucket and say, you know what, I'm just going to decorate it and it's going to be covered and we're just going to live with it. And of course, I have to use all of the mushroom items and the Nova stars and the pumpkins and I just absolutely love them all. They are so cute and amazing. We're also placing a few suits of armor down along with our pumpkins and a spooky lantern and a spooky tower. Um, once these are all placed, I could finally start adding in the castle walls and doors, which is what you will see here in a second. Uh, but of course, we've got to get the pumpkins in and it wouldn't be um, a Halloween build without having far too many pumpkins and mush lamps. I can't tell which item I like better though, the pumpkin towers or the mush lamps. They're just, they're all so cute. I love them all. Um, and looking back at the build, I actually see now that I made like a little line with the pumpkin uh, lamps, which is actually kind of cool. Um, I did originally want to put this little uh, giant vine in there, but there's absolutely no room for it. So we end up having to get rid of it and we place the castle walls um, in, and then we get to start working on the Able Sisters, which is always super fun. They get to use one of the, the a new item for this, which I think is like the spooky lamp thing. It's the thing that like goes up the side and has a little um, pumpkin area here. I don't know what it's called, but I got to use that in this build, so that was super exciting. And I tried to use as many of the spooky trees as I possibly could because they're absolutely adorable. Was that the standing lamp? This item, the item that I just placed. I think I saw that it was called the standing lamp, but I don't know. I also tried to use as many skeletons as possible. I had to. What kind of spooky island would it be if I didn't use skeletons? Skeletons and pumpkins and it's just, ah, oh, chef's kiss. It's amazing. I had to do it. I had to do it. Um, but we're just placing all of the final items here, um, getting the mush lamps done. And then of course it's the part that I dread the most. It's the edge pieces. So it's filling in the little areas, to the edges of the path. So placing in the topi area, topiaries, the different little pumpkins that we have. And of course I accidentally destroy my path in the process. Um, and then just adding in the ruined seat, the candlesticks, everything and anything that glows is what I I basically put in this build uh, because it just we need it needs to be perfect and glowy and just have everything it possibly can. I have been trying to use more of these covered wagons. I think that they're so cute but I don't really know how to incorporate them into the bills so I kind of line them along the sides here and back by Nook's Cranny in the hopes of it kind of looking like it's um, almost like a new shipment or delivery that's gone in um, for the shop or like a traveler, a traveling merchant almost. Um, so that's kind of like what I was going for with the covered wagons, but I don't know if it really ended up looking that way. I'm so iffy to use them. Do you guys ever use the covered wagons in your builds? And if so, how do you use them? Because I never know how to use them properly. Uh, but we're, of course, adding even more pumpkins, I swear. I could just call my island pumpkin core at this point uh, because of all the pumpkins. And I don't even know if that's an actual core. Have I, have I made a new core? Um, but this ends up being the final build. Here we have Nook's Cranny and the Avel Sisters right there. I hope you all enjoyed the speed build. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and like the video for more of my content. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye!